If you looked at your plot of EZ at the end of this simulation, it would have looked like the wave is propagating maybe only a couple cells into the PML, since our PML starts at 150. And then it would ab looks like it abruptly goes to zero. But it also doesn't look like the PML is reflecting the wave if your PML is working. What's going on with this? Well, remember we set the c-axis to be minus 3.2 to minus 2. So all the values outside of this range are either dark, blue, or bright yellow. If we change the range from minus 7 to minus 2 to allow us to see smaller EZ values, which we would expect in the PML region, since the EM, uh, EZ fields in the PML should be attenuated, this is what we would see. Now the colors in the main part of the grid are misleading. Everything in the Earth Ionosphere waveguide is closer to yellow on this scale. But we can see that the wave is propagating all the way through the PML and is being attenuated as we would expect. Go ahead and change the scale back to minus 3.2 to minus 2 so that we can focus on what's happening in the Earth Ionosphere waveguide and that will be more useful to us. Uh, now we need to rerun our model so we can have our reference EZ fields at the observation point that don't include any reflections from the PML or the right side of the grid. How would you design this large grid? What needs to change in your model to create the reference EZ observation data?